So, you want to get good lighting for your Blender renders, oh, it's funny, I know, Blender renders for your Fortnite thumbnails? Perfect, you came to the right spot, let's just get right into okay, it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to your, obviously, to your Blender file or whatever you want to make, or you're going to want to make a new file. Um, if you're wondering why I have all these people here, um, it is because the lighting sticks, so you don't have to remake it every single time. So as you can see, look, I only have the lighting on this one person right here. If I delete that, you can see... Boom, it affects this one even though it's not the same person. So that's why I'd recommend you could put like a bunch in a line here. But if it starts getting a bit too crowded, even though you have like an infinite thing, you can always just restart it or it doesn't matter. You could remake it every single time. But I'd recommend you put them all in one folder like this, but you could separate them a little further away so they're not really stuck together. Anyways, so as I was saying, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a sun right here. Okay, so you're going to find a sun. So what you're going to do is you're going to do add and you're going to do light and then sun press the sun and then once you have sun move it all the way down to our uh, it should be already down here on the bottom of your blender like like where your character spawns by the way it, it would spawn right here on the line but that's because i have moved it obviously to the side um so yeah basically that's what you're doing first you get the sun then you're going to go to your actual light settings right here right and you're just going to want to copy this so make sure it's on sun color make it that it's like a i'd say like a whitish yellow because look if i make it too white like it doesn't really have color kind of looks ugly like it, you, you see what it does right like if you really want to for like a cool thumbnail like it depends on the theme obviously you could change this whenever but i'd recommend making it this like whitish yellow yeah i'd say making it like this whitish yellow uh you guys can't really tell the difference here but if you look right here you can kind of see it but yeah so just make this like white yellow right here as you can see next thing you're gonna do is make sure the strength is at eight thousand um so that it should be like just high enough um where you see like it actually would affect the character then make all this the same as mine and the angle you could copy mine but mine is 0 0.526 so like i was saying you have all this make sure that you have your shadows and stuff on um yeah make sure that your shadow and contact shadows are on then you're gonna duplicate this bring it all the way up here so it's kind of like if i zoom in kind of like going through the character or it should be going somewhat through the character like this one is but i liked it the way it was over here like if i move it you don't really notice anything so it doesn't really matter but if i turn it around a bit you see like it depends on how you want it i kind of liked it where it was like this like rim light type of thing like i have so you could copy me like i was saying it's up to you but that's what i enjoy more i like it more like this i might move it actually just a little bit more now that i think of it i think that looks nice so yeah so you're just going to duplicate them twice so you kind of have two, but first make it like how you want and make it more of this like lighter blue as you see right here. Then strength at 10, then all this the same, right? All of this contact shadows and that's it. Then just duplicate it, put it on the other side over here. And now you should, if I go all the way up, if I show you guys, look, so you have this one as that nice like rim light. This one adds the other rim light on this side. And then like I was saying, we have now this one, sorry. This one is the one from under, which adds the like, light in the front to obviously make it look nice and this one is going to be on this side which i'll show you just a second but obviously you don't want it to be that dark so that's why we have that one so now duplicate it one more time and then as you can see i have this one right or sorry this one right up here so if i turn it around a bit like it's kind of far not really too far and then you're just going to put it so it's like in i'd say like towards their neck area so it's facing there because like if I move it around, it kind of looks weird. Like you don't want it to like get rid of shadows. So you want it to like have some shadows. You don't have to make it exact. Obviously, like I was saying, this just looks the nicest for me. And um, also, if you're wondering what skin this is, it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> just just to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, so you're going to make it like towards the neck area. And then you're just going to copy this. I have it as a specific strength. And then all this, the same shadow, contact shadows, all that. And that's basically it. Now you're going to have this character. Now, as you can see, uh let me see one sec so let's see if i move the camera onto anybody let me just take the camera and move it you're gonna see everyone has this nice like light to it by the way obviously these ones i just put here so i could like work on them but like see these ones i already worked on obviously guys by the way if you couldn't tell i am trying to like start this is, like my first week using blender but as you can see like i'm really trying on this um and the, at least the lighting looks good even if my renders aren't looking amazing just yet uh they're looking better like look as you can see i started over here this one's like one of my first ones. Then we um, then we went to like this one. 
and then this one and then this one's kind of where i added, started adding like motion and stuff to it but yeah so basically that's it that's the lighting hope you guys did enjoy if you guys want to see how to import these actual like fortnite characters into blender or how to import anything like if you see over here i imported the trophy from fortnite i have the actual like build materials from fortnite or fncs pickaxe up here right if you want you have a whole entire fortnite tree here so yeah if you guys want to see that then make sure to comment that down below and yeah that's it hope you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like and subscribe um comment down below like i was saying and i'll see you guys in the next one peace